Harvesting our forest resource is commonly done with a chainsaw. The chainsaw is fast, reliable, and makes work easy when used correctly. Most accidents with the chainsaw occur when the worker is careless, unprepared, and unskilled. Proper safety equipment and training can prevent almost all accidents. Safety pants with factory installed ballistic nylon is required. Ballistic nylon is a good defense against the cutting action of a chainsaw. Safety boots must have steel toes and a ballistic nylon instep. An approved hard hat must be worn at all times. Eye protection is a must. Safety glasses or a screen are recommended. Hearing protection is mandatory also. Gloves are not mandatory, but are recommended. Gloves are also available with ballistic nylon. A first aid kit should be on your person at all times in case of injury. Also, a fire bag or a bottle must be worn on your person at all times during fire season. The tool belt will contain a variety of tools to help make the professional logger's job easier and safer. Tongs, used for moving wood after it has been felled and bucked. Wedge, used to assist in felling trees. Felling lever, also used in felling trees, it is most popular and easiest to use. Turning strap. If a tree is lodged, the turning strap is a safe and reliable method to fell the tree completely. And the most important tool, the chainsaw. First and foremost, make sure all safety features of the saw are working properly. The chain catcher should be in place and undamaged in case of a chain break, this will protect the operator's hand and leg from being hit. The chain break should stop the chain immediately and completely whenever it is used. The chain should not turn while the saw is idling. And a throttle safety catch should be in good working order. There is one area on a saw blade that is never used for cutting, the kickback zone. If you cut using this area, you're asking for trouble. Never underestimate the power of your saw. If it kicks back, you won't stop it. When talking about the saw blade, there are two areas used for cutting, the pushing and pulling part of the chain. Because of the direction in which the blade travels, the top of the chain pushes the cut away from you and the bottom pulls it towards you. When limbing, these are important features to remember. Always start the saw in the correct manner. There are two ways this is accomplished. First, place the saw on firm ground. Place your right foot in the throttle handle. Hold the saw with your left hand and make a quick pull on the starter cord with your right hand. Second method is placing the throttle handle between your legs, holding the saw once again with your left hand and making a firm, quick pull on the starter cord with your right hand. It is usually recommended to use this procedure only after the saw has been running for a while and is warmed up. Remember, never start your saw next to the gas can and always keep a few spare parts on hand. Regular saw maintenance is a must, a saw that works good is a safe saw.